Hello, welcome in this new video today, a new format, a live demo, how to show you, I want to show you how to configure um, an Aveva Edge MQTT infrastructure. So for that, this is the architecture, I have some devices sensor, which is centralized to an Aveva Edge nodes. This Aveva Edge nodes send information to an MQTT broker in the cloud, and which is sent uh, data to an OI server. And I will show you as well how to display MQTT data in your, in your system platform. So this is my Aveva Edge um, configuration. We can see I have some simulated tags and the watch windows and the communication. What I did, I just configure MQTT uh, driver where I can see these uh, nodes and the uh, edge of node as well. So this is my first edge of node, for example, here. We can see here the header. I specify Australia slash Sine. And for the station, I specify as well my address using Spark plug semicolon SSL plus the, the, the machine name of my MQTT broker machine. So if I'm going to the remote device, we can see the reader is still in the same node, Australia Cine slash remote device 01. And we can see here, I just specify a few tags where I can just use any tags on my edge, Aveva edge. So if I go back here, we can see uh, on the MQTT folder, these settings to configure. So I'm using a fully secure MQTT infrastructure. So we can see here in the authentication, I'm using the a specific user for, for my broker, where I specify the, the name of my station, plus the username, plus the password. And the second tab is the certificate. So where I add this certificate, which is used as well in my broker, so I just add, import this certificate too. I will click OK. So this is it for my infrastructure. So we can see these three main edge of network and one remote devices for each each main node. So I will just start the project and we can see straight away I'm sending the data to my broker and we can see the OK message uh, for all the tags I defined. I will jump now to my MQTT device where I can see here the broker tab where I specify the broker address, uh, my port number, the secure one, 8883. And this is the different step you need, you need to do to, to, to connect to your broker from OI server. So we just validate my address and my port like that. Click OK, so the connection is successful as well. I already import my certificate, so I just can validate the security. Yes, security is complete. And as well, I'm using a specific user and my to access my broker. So I can access the broker with the user as well. So now we'll see another part, an interesting part, the MQTT browser. So we have a visualization of what I have and my broker right now. So we can identify these three edge of device. Example with Cine one, I show you previously in the edge. And we can see as well a few tags on the side. And if I just click on the remote device, we can see my three tags as well, defined previously in my edge. So we can recognize the topic here, Australia slash Cine slash remote device 01. So we just stop on my average and we'll see straight away we have an information where the, the device are done. So we have the running status of your, of your branch basically, graphically, which is really interesting for people to see if it's a device off or on. So we'll just start it back and we can see straight away my uh, tree is updated automatically. So here we can see these tags and we have the tag reference. I can click on this tag reference if I want to use it. I will copy that. I will show you here. Just add that on my specific groups here. These three group by default. The first one is at most once. You transfer the, the message at most once. This, uh, as well, the number one as well, where you need to transfer the message at least once, and number two, which is exactly once. So we just tick on the first one at most once, and I will just see all the tags I already had on my 
on my system now so I just want to add this new one which is the analog just to show you how to add an analog tags here just need to specify the item reference I just recognize on the tree like that just save this when this is done now to go to my system platform project where I can add these new tags so let's open the system platform ID and we can see here the gateway I just specify the 7moi.mqtt.1 these different groups the scan groups we can see I just select the normal groups and I will add my tag 0 analog tags just this is where I define the reference from my, my broker so which is in group 0 so I will deploy my gateway now okay just now to add a new text to my project let's use user defined tags here like that okay this will be my analog tags, I would say, just one. I will add my attribute, which is analog. I will add an attribute to this. <coughs> analog tags, okay, and just change the data type, which is a digger, and defining the IO feature, read and write on this one where I can select the gateway and finally my analog tags here click OK I need to save this in checking OK and I will deploy So now my project is fully deployed using the MQTT tags. And I will just use an object viewer. I will just display analog tags here, add to the watch, and we can see the data is updating. We can compare with my average. So thanks for watching this video today. Hope you enjoyed the, the live demo and see you for the next video.